battle. This might possibly be the most like impromptu video I've ever done. I am getting ready to go to a music festival, which is so weird. Like I haven't been to a festival, an event, a um, social, big social thing in ages. Um, <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, like I woke up feeling so anxious. I'm not being like a baby and whining, but I haven't had anxiety in so long and I've got anxiety today. Like I, I like woke up like shaking because I was so nervous for today. I don't know why, like I don't know why. This is gonna be good for me. I need to do something like fun because I haven't done anything fun in ages. So it should be good, I'm excited. It should be like cool music and everything and got a really cool outfit to wear. It's one of my op shop things that I found. Um, anyway, this is gonna be a very quick get ready with me because um, I'm running so late. I like put it off and put it off and put it off and I was like, just get a shower and get ready and just get going. So I'm gonna go ahead first of all just quickly curl my eyelashes real quick. I did a few little face masks, a little face preparation for today. So my skin is looking okay, like it's definitely not its best. Got a few little battle scars right now from like last week I had a few pimples and stuff. So my skin's okay, it's nice and clear, which is the main thing. So I do not want to wear a lot of makeup today because I know for a fact when I go to a festival I sweat more than I should. More than I am proud to admit. So I definitely don't want to wear a lot of makeup. I want this to be like super natural. <laughs> Almost no makeup. I've done this before on my channel, this look, um, but I just basically put concealer on, kind of. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on the Sam's Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. Dot it all over my face, kind of use it as like a foundation. It just looks a lot more natural and skin-like than a foundation, which I love. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I've already got sunscreen on, so I don't want to get burnt. And I have a little, ew, who gets a pimple on their neck, really? Come on, guys, let's admit this. Let's admit this, girls, to each other, that there's nothing worse than when you go out into the sun and you see a girl that's wearing, like, foundation and it just looks like her skin just looks like, like... You can't not look at the skin because it looks so bad and that's no shade to anyone but like just in general when you go into sunlight everything is just so like exaggerated that I just don't want to look like that. So now what I'm going to do is just grab my beauty blender. Obviously you guys have seen me do this before and just kind of blend it all in to my skin. Yes. I was hoping to see a certain somebody at this event today. Um, so make I want to make sure that I look nice, but like not too done up and stuff. But yeah, kind of hoping that I'm going to see someone. By the way, I probably won't talk too much because I'm actually like, I'm running really late right now. So why does my hair look greasy? And I washed it. Yeah, I think that I'm happy with that. I think that still looks pretty natural. Looking a little dewy though. We'll see, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and fill in my brows. Obviously, I'm just gonna speed through it really quick. Um, I just wanna go, like I said, really, really, really natural. I'm not feeling a, a makeup look today. It's actually quite hot. It's gonna be 27 degrees Celsius, which isn't as hot as Perth gets, but that's still quite a hot kind of day. So yeah, like I said, definitely, definitely wanna do something a little more on the natch, on the natch side. Did I just make that up, natch? Oh my God, who's listened to Post Malone's new album? Ugh. I, oh my god, <laughs> I love anything that Post Malone releases, which is so rare for me. Like, I usually don't like that many songs from certain artists. Like, I'll like one or two, but then I won't like anything else that they release. Probably the only two people that I, like, love everything that they release is Post Malone and Sticky Fingers. Favourite from the new Post Malone album is Stay. It's called Stay. It's, like, the coolest... It's like such a cool song. It gives me like Hawaiian vibes. I don't know why, <laughs> but I love it. I love my brows. That is exactly what I wanted them to look like. Just like kind of natural, but like perfectly shaped. I love them. Okay, I need to set those bad boys in place because I don't want them to move at all. I really like them a lot. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to quickly quickly set them into a place, in their place. Okay, real quick, let's do a little bit of eyeshadow. So first of all, I'm just going to grab a white, any white from up here, and just kind of dust it over my lids because they're looking a little oily up there. So I'll just quickly do that. I was just about to say something. Um, I've been watching, I know it's like kind of terrible of me, but I've been watching those like 
YouTubers that are like dragging people's outfits from Coachella and it makes me laugh so much because I don't know I secretly I'm like the sort of person that like I don't want to be involved in drama and I don't ever get involved in drama whatsoever not that this is drama but like I just stay I stay away but I will watch it like I will watch it from the sidelines like I'm not gonna lie I will watch it um, but I don't like to be involved obviously um, but yeah, anyway, where I was going with that is that like, I totally agree with what some people are saying about Coachella, how it's like, it's not about the music. Come on, let's be honest. It's not about the music. It's about like who you go with, how VIP you are and like your outfits, it's all about the outfits. It's all about Instagram photos and outfits. Like I totally agree with people that are saying that. I feel like it's so not about the music. Like how many people did you see Snapchat actual artists and like listening to the music? Like I hardly saw anyone. Um, you just see people with their outfits on, you know? You know what I'm saying? Like no shade to anyone, but like literally everyone did that. <laughs> I would love to go to Coachella because I am a huge, huge music festival person. Like I, I really love music festivals. I haven't gone to as many recently because they do, you know, they do rack up quite a fair bit of money, like ticketing and, and everything. So I just have kind of laid off them, but I do really love music festivals. I always have, because I love dancing whenever I go out. Like that is just me. You guys have seen some of my content. I like to just, I just dance. Like that's just, I always have. So I love going just to kind of listen to the music and like feel the music and everything. It's really sad about Avicii. I actually saw him when he came. He did a concert in Perth. I wish I saw him again actually, but so sad. Like that's just tragic. Anyway, um, okay. So with the eyes, I'm literally, like I said, supernatural. I can't reiterate that enough. I'm going to go into MAC Cork down here. It's an eyeshadow that could be a contour shade. Like that's how natural of like a brown it is. I'm going to take some of that on my MAC 221, I think. And just like kind of really lightly, hold on, let me get like my little mirror out. Really kind of just lightly put it all over. It's a super natural, hold on. I think there's like more brown on this brush. Hold. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of apply it like all over to the crease a little bit. I don't really know why I woke up feeling like kind of anxious. I think it's just because like, I've been spending a lot of time alone recently, like a lot, like a lot, um, just with like my mom and just like myself. So I think like going like over, I'm like overwhelmed with the fact that I'm about to go to a place that's got like thousands of people. So I think I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed, but I'll be fine once I get there. I'm sure I'll be, ow, my foot is cramping. I'll be okay. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and run that under as well. Under the eye. It's so nice how many people tell me like on my videos, like men as well, that I look like beautiful with no makeup. Like it's such like a sweet and a, a really nice confident boosting sort of thing that people say to me. Like when they say you look really good without makeup, because of course I want to look good without makeup. And I just think it's so nice, but there's only one problem with that is that some people, not all of them, but some people seem to think that makeup is like, a cover up or like a camouflage or like you're insecure so you wear makeup but I have to express this because it's so it's so not true like that is so not true I do not wear makeup because I'm insecure I wear makeup because it's a creative outlet and I love playing with makeup like do you think that I would literally feel comfortable going out with like hot purple eyeshadow on no, I wouldn't. Like, I do that because I want to be creative. I want to see how far my creativeness can go and take me with makeup. And I think some people just totally, especially guys, they just totally miss the point of it. It's like an artistic outlet for me. I've, I'm a very artistic person. I, I was very artistic in ballet, very artistic with my makeup. Like, I really love to create things. So when people think that it's like, because you're insecure, that pisses me off so much. Like, so much like I never say anything because like I don't want to sometimes it's better to stay silent that's what I've realized with having a YouTube channel and I don't get that much hate but I have received hate before and what I realize is that the people that literally take it to a personal level are never ever ever gonna change their minds about you from you commenting back to them explaining yourself they've already made up their mind about me like say someone gives me a hateful message that's very personal and they're just, they're just going in. I'm not going to be able to change their minds about me 
just from my response if you know what I'm saying so I just leave them leave them to be a hater and just just stay silent I think that's just best and I have had to block a lot of people from my channel that just say really awful demoralizing uh, just awful things about me my intelligence my looks like everything like I just have to like shut that down I was actually watching some astrology videos the other day and um, it was like what two signs are like the most uncompatible it was quite funny and it's so true because like I already knew this because I know quite a quite a little bit about astrology but it was like Cancer and Aquarius and I was like yeah that's very true <laughs> not if you're an Aquarius right now I love like if I ever if I could choose to be a sign I would probably choose to be an Aquarius like no joke like I wouldn't want to be a Cancer I would either want to be an Aquarius an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius probably. I feel like they're very strong people um, and very, I feel like they're very like fiery kind of people anyway. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very uncompatible with Aquariuses. <laughs> Not as friends, but like I just think me and Aquariuses in other areas of life just don't vibe super well. But they're all so intelligent. Like I've never met an Aquarius that couldn't have like a stimulated conversation, which is good. <laughs> this eyeshadow has gotten out of control. I didn't even mean, oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna need to just like, I didn't mean it to be that intense. Holy shit. Hold on one sec guys. Oh dear, I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush right now and just kind of like try and blend all that out. Cause I was just talking, getting carried away. Um, and I didn't want it to be that intense. I'm also gonna go over, I'm gonna go over with my beauty blender as well. Okay, so I'm really quickly going to dip into my Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. I don't think I've ever done a makeup look and not grabbed this palette. It's getting a little ridiculous now. <sighs> what I'm going to do, I didn't think that I was going to do this, but I think I want to now. Um, I'm just going to grab the brown from here. So what I'm going to do with the brown is just take it on this, what is this, a brow line brush by Zoeva and just really tight line, but just to the outer corner. Like nowhere else, just the outer corner, just to give it a little bit more... A little bit more depth going on I think and I might as well just take it under as well and extend it out a little bit okay so the eyes are pretty much done I'm just gonna grab a little bit of MAC nylon like a tiny bit tiny 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 and just dab a little bit of that just in the center here like I hardly want it to look like anything just a little little pop also want to put a little bit of that under my stab a little bit of that under my brow just to look a bit sweaty okay so we're almost done with the eyes I'm quickly gonna go ahead and coat my lashes give them a good coat with the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara I am gonna put on some falsies but these are the ones that I love these are the Eyelore Exaggerate I finally got a new pair guys to show you the box the um, Eyelaw Exaggerate uh, number 141. And what I do is cut them pretty much in half and apply them to just the outer corner. So it looks very like feline, very... And then we're pretty much done. There is nothing to do on the face at all. <laughs> I want it to look like these are just my natural lashes so I just always take the black and just go over the lash band really lightly just to kind of make it look yeah like I said a little bit more natural yeah I think I am happy with that I'm just gonna go ahead and line overdraw my lips a little bit um, and then that will be the end of the look so I don't know what lip pencil I want to use I've been using max spice um, where is it this one max spice quite a lot so I think I'm gonna do that I'm so indecisive today guys so indecisive thank god I've already got my outfit plan because I cannot make a decision today about anything oh my god yum okay so I think I am happy with the makeup I think I'm happy. It's, it's it's kind of just you guys see what it is. It's pretty natural. A little bit going on. A little bit flirty. I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair, put on my outfit, and show you guys my outfit and plus what fragrance I'm gonna wear today. Kind of worried though because like I can't take. I don't think you can take liquid in there, 
and I really wanted to bring like a perfume with me to kind of like top up but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I am finally ready. I just had to quickly re-stick my eyelashes because they were coming off a little bit. Who else has noticed this? When you go to a festival or like a club or like a, a music concert or something, you come home and your hair is like the most disgusting smelling thing ever. It smells like weed, alcohol, cigarettes, pee other stuff like it's just awful so hairs in a pony for sure i also went to a festival one time this was a while ago now and somebody put gum in the back of my hair like not being dramatic but that was traumatizing like somebody stuck bubble gum in the back of my hair anyway that wasn't the point of this what fragrance am i gonna wear today i was either gonna wear one of these because it is kind of why do i look orange again it is very sunny outside so i was either gonna wear tom ford's eau de soleil blanc or guerlain terracotta le parfum i think i'm gonna go for this one because it lasts a little bit longer so i do i'm gonna go for this um <laughs> Oh my god, it's like summer in a bottle. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear that one. And now I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. Let's see if I can do this without like trying to adjust the camera. Okay, hold, hold please. Okay, can you guys see my outfit? Am I like... This is the worst. I am the worst YouTuber. Put it with uh, Doc Martens. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? That's my outfit. All right guys, peace out. <laughs>